at strong safety for the Hibbing Blue Jackets, standing five foot, one inch, and a hundred pounds, TB. Yeah, pull on. Da -da, da -da, da -da, there he is. Welcome everybody today. Do a quick little scan here. We're gonna display autographs of every kind, football, basketball, hockey, even a little bit of boxing. Um, first one I'd like to start out with is, is my all time, other than Fran Tarkington, my all time favorite, Mr. Joe Montana over here. Number 16. This one is uh, 101 of 316, which is kind of cool. I think three was his um, number when he played for Notre Dame. And then of course, 16 for the pros. And then he went back to three, I think, when he went to KC the last few years. We won't talk about that. Born and raised in 49er. Should have stayed a 49er, but that's okay. 316, that's kind of ironic. Maybe it's biblical. Joe, were you planning something there? Kind of cool if he did. Mr. Montana, here's his stats. Hall of Fame 2000, four-time Super Bowl champion, three-time Super Bowl MVP, 4,551 career yard passing, 3,409 career completions, 273 uh, career touchdowns, and two-time NFL MVP, limited edition. 101 of 316, pretty cool. Here's one of my old banners. My dad actually bought these from you know, was Just a little dude. He surprised me, he had half a dozen of them in uh, in my bedroom when I come home from school. It was, it was pretty cool. Neat surprise. And I still have them to this day and I'll display them today. Here's the good one. Here's the catch. Dwight Clark, Joe Montana. NFC Championship, 1981. What was the score, Tyler? 26 to 21? Final score? Yeah. 26-21, they came back, classic two minute offense. Joe drove it down, Roger Craig made some good plays running. And of course, Dwight Clark caught it in the end zone. The catch. One of my favorite running backs, played for him at that time too, Tommy Rathman. This guy was a tank. He'd love to hit running back, he'd, he'd run over Middle linebackers, he was just a tank. Love you, Tommy. Okay, we'll cruise on over here, nice and slow, do a little scan. Show you uh, those old football pennants I was telling you about. My dad bought years ago, I got the Packers and Detroit Lions, Bears. BB in Chicago, if you're watching this video, the Bears suck. <laughs> Vikings, baby. <laughs> Cowboy skins, Bengals. 1970 era, all of these. And got the Los Angeles Rams, where they should have never moved to St. Louis. Came back to LA, and by golly, they won a Super Bowl. Got their offensive coordinator now, Kevin O'Connell, head coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Love you, Kevin. Got our first victory last week over the Cheeseheads. That was bittersweet. All right, we'll cruise on over here to our uh, 1970s mini helmets. Separated these this morning, NFC and the AFC. By divisions too. Granted, a lot of these divisions have new franchises and I don't have those helmets because they're newer franchises, but pretty cool. The Packers and Vikings, Central Division, Bears, Dub Bears, Lions right there. So it's got a Lions card over here. Rookie. Let me zoom in a little bit. Tom Kennedy. And then uh, for the Cowboys, this is a really cool card. Michael Irvin with a P. 
piece of the football that he's holding. Really cool. Thanks, Ty. Okay. So yeah, so those are the mini helmets. The Broncos back in the day. <laughs> Bills. Cool, look at the Patriots. Old Tom Brady no longer. Now he plays for Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Well, that one's showing its age. But yeah, I've had them forever and they're in still pretty, pretty decent shape. I'll we'll cruise on over here to some more autographs. Some Vikings autographs. Got Robert Smith running back back in the day. I think Dante Culpepper was quarterback. Randy Moss, Chris Carter. Robert Tate, we got to meet last year. Came to my son's football practice. Signed his hat for him. Just a class act. What a gentleman. Take the time. And with these youth football programs, he goes up and down the state of Minnesota. Robert, you're a great man. Thanks for what you do. This is Herschel Walker. Picked that up at an antique store not too long ago. Herschel, we got him kind of on the end of his career, but he rushed for us really good. Thanks, Ty. You're welcome. It's cool. Chris Carter, one of the best wide receivers ever, other than Jerry Rice. I'd like to get Jerry Rice's autograph too. Minnesota Vikings, this is a newer pennant. I have the old one from when I was young. I put it somewhere and typical me, I, I can't find it. I forgot where I put it, so. <laughs> John Randall, a signed program. What an animal. Defensive tackle. Man, he was he was impressive. Strong, strong man. An old uh, 40th anniversary Minnesota Vikings from 61 to 2000 book. That's Mr. Chris Carter catching the back pass right there. Another one of my heroes, Fran Tarkington. Chuck Foreman, which I have Chucky's autograph right here. My sister actually got that for a birthday gift. Bumped in Chuck somewhere, I think it was in a restaurant. And uh, he signed it for me. Best wishes. It's Mark, Chuck Horman. Pretty cool. Hall of Fame. Hall of Famer. We got Mr. Teddy Bridgewater. Loved this guy. It just, his career just really didn't work out with the Vikings. And I just, we got to see him play live. My daughter bought me tickets for my birthday. We even got to shake hands with the man after the game, which was pretty cool. Another class act. Hell, Rudolph, awesome tight end. Rudy, I miss you. You should have stayed in purple. It's a pretty cool picture, really. Leaving uh, with the steam, the fog machine. One of the best strong safeties ever at play the game. Harrison Smith, love you, Harrison Smith. Minnesota boy, Notre Dame, fighting Irish. My dad was an Indiana boy, love Notre Dame. And uh, went to the Vikings, still playing. Strong, it's a lot of picks. Same number as my son. He went with the 22. Yeah. For him and strong safety. All right, we'll cruise on over here. And take a little peek at some baseball, or basketball stuff. Steph Curry. My son and I got to meet him. We went to go see a, a game this year in the cities. And uh, it was a good game. Yeah. What was the score of that one? Do you remember? Uh-uh. But we lost. Golden State lost. Yeah. yeah. Timberwolves won. Yeah. But he's such a huge fan. He was going for Golden State. And like I said, we got to meet Steph Curry. Another class act. Just, uh, just a great guy. Very humble. Took the time to sign all the autographs before a game. And, and we got to see him courtside. We had awesome seats. That dude perfect hat we love our dude perfect all their basketball trick shots that they do and we've got autographs from them they love these guys youtube them look up dude perfect texas boys awesome trick shots and the stuff they do 
awesome, awesome program. They tour and we had a good time. We saw them. Okay, Ty, you go over some of the, your cards here. Okay. LeBron James. We got some LeBron James rookie cards. Rookie cards. And we got, where is he? Stephen Curry cards. Oh, Steph Curry. Got Michael Jordan cards over there. Let's go take a look at MJ. It's like a little hey, plate here. Right a plate. KG cards too down there. Oh yeah, Kevin Garnett. Got MJ. Yeah. Pretty good documentary on Netflix right now. The Last Dance. The Last Dance. Michael Jordan. You guys have time to take a little peek at that one too. Really good. It's a good shot. Get the tongue out. Love it, MJ. <laughs> okay, we'll cruise on over here. We got to see the Harlem Globetrotters this year. Yeah. Okay. Tyler uh, took his best friend, yeah. and we went down and spent the weekend in the cities. And we're actually in Duluth, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I was in Duluth. It's always fun. I saw him when I was a little kid, and uh, wanted to bring Tyler for a long time and watch these guys. Got a Globetrotter basketball, and got some signatures on that. Some neat autographs on that. Another one of Tyler's favorites, the legend. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. <laughs> we said at the same yeah. time. Look at all the players though. Isn't this a cool painting? Yeah. It's just really, really cool. And it says mama forever at the top. It's one of his favorite words. Right, right. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Jackson, nice. MJ, all reaching down. Magic. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, Magic isn't. Where is he? Right there. there. And there's Shaq. Shaq right there. Magic. Oh, that's cool. Now on to a little bit of hockey for ya. Yeah. Like old Minnesota North Stars. Old banner here that I have. They uh, unfortunately moved, and I think it was the late 90s, to Texas. The hockey state they moved to Texas. They still... I'm affected by that. Yeah. Got a neat brochure here, 1980 Olympic hockey team. You guys know the history on that one. It was amazing. Watch the movie. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Beat them Russians. Yeah. I don't watch that in a while. No. Hockey puck sign. We got Zach Parisi, which has moved on to no longer Minnesota Wild, unfortunately. Love you, Zach. What you got over here, Tyler? Some cards. Derek Jeter, yeah. yeah. Nice cards. Some baseball. That's here. Cruise on over, and we got a little bit of boxing, actually, too. Hockey. 1970s poster, autographed signatures of the whole cast and crew, or cast, I should say, no crew. My dad took me to see this when I was just a youngster, Tyler's age. Never forget it, saw it on the big screen. I love Sylvester Stallone and all the Rockies are great. Second one's probably the best. I agree. I definitely agree. It's when he beat Apollo Creed. Yeah. Yeah. One of the best boxers ever. Probably of all time. Yeah. People would argue this, but. That's from Muhammad Ali. The legend lives on. It was from 1978. Buck 25, even back then. Kind of a cool magazine. Football helmet from Masabi Junior College. At pretty decent team from Virginia, Minnesota. We'll cruise on over here. Oh, can't forget. Wanted to add this on. Throw this in there. Golf balls my son and I found all yeah. summer. Got a bunch of them. Found over 300. Right. There was number 100 we found, and then 200, and there was the 300 just the other day. Yeah. I think we're going almost up to 360 or something, working on 400 now. We walk around the uh, the golf course, and we find them, you know, everywhere. We, we look hard, and it's something to do, and we have fun with it. Yeah. The bands. Cruise on over here to a little shrine that I have. I played football the last three 
three years uh, of high school football in Palmdale. I grew up in Minnesota, but last three years, we moved to Southern California and I played for uh, the Palmdale Falcons. We had a lot of talent. We'd have scouts come and visit from SC, UCLA, Arizona, and watch our players. We had three go pro. Um, our backup quarterback, believe it or not, played, um, Rodney Williams was his name, played um, professional baseball mm. and football. He tried out free cool. agent, free agent for uh, Los Angeles Raiders. I couldn't believe it. I was watching the game. John Madden announced his, uh, <laughs> his name, Rodney Williams. He was our backup quarterback, but he had great hands. And um, he caught a beautiful touchdown. And I think he played two or three years and baseball at the same time. Not many people have done that. I think Bo Jackson and a few others. But So, yeah. So, that's my little shrine. Um, a program when I was playing back in 1989. Me as a little dude. Yeah. Number 12, Minnesota. And then, and then with my grandpa Lano. Number 22. 22, which Tyler is this year. Grandpa Lano. Miss you. Love you, Grandpa. And then I had to put a little bit of Minnesota Twins in here. Yeah. Kirby Pocket. Love Kirby. Some of the stats I can't see very good. <laughs> he was fun to watch. My sister yeah. would take take me to Twins games, and we'd love to watch Kirby Pocket. And boy, he could hit the ball. Played in the Metrodome, but man, if there was no. Uh, but when it wasn't a dome, I swear I'd go outside in the parking lot. 1987 champions. This was, I was so excited. I remember my grandpa and I were so excited. It's a Homer hanky. Everybody would wave them around. Kind of a collector's item now. And uh, cheer on the twins. I think we played St. Louis Cardinals, went to game seven. I think Danny Glad, if my memory is correct, uh, it was game six and they were losing. Hit a grand slam to send it. I can see him running the bases oh. in my mind. And sent it to game seven. Oh. It's, if you ever want to YouTube a good good uh, game, that would be the one to watch. Did they win? They did, yeah, they did. Old catchers met my Uncle Vern's. Kind of neat from the 1950s. And then probably my all-time favorite player ever, Mr. Mr. The Legend, Hank Aaron. Always... The stuff he had to go through yeah. to play in the big leagues. How many home runs? What were we saying? 755 yes. all-time home runs. Love Mr. Hank Aaron. Old 87 pennant. Kind of in rough shape. We still got it. <laughs> and then probably uh, one of my favorite autographs. My favorite actor and my buddy. That was stationed at 29 Palms. Got to meet Mr. Clint Eastwood when they, they filmed Heartbreak Ridge. Um, I'm sure I wish I could have. <laughs> My buddy said, uh, just a class act. Took the time to come down and visit a bunch of Marines and sign autographs and uh, good movie, Heartbreak Ridge. Check it out. I thought that was pretty awesome of him to do so. Had to throw the old classic Booney cover in. Oh, I just kind of skipped by Mr. Joe Namath. Another awesome quarterback, Joe. Mr. Namath, Broadway Joe. Yep. Old banner that I had in my room, too. He's a cool cat. Does yeah. commercials now. And then uh, my dad and I both raced in the mid-400 Las Vegas Desert Race. This is my dad's jacket, Steve Brown. As a driver, I wasn't a driver. My jacket says I was a driver, but I was passenger. I was too young. They actually, uh, oh, look at this good shot right here. That's my dad and his best friend, Steve Wheeler. Are you in that? No, my oh. dad is passenger, and then that's Steve. They got airborne. What a what a shot! They had photographers everywhere, and they would take pictures of cars and trucks that were in sand rails. Was a different uh, group that would go through with this and four hundred miles of desert racing. Four laps, I believe I remember right. I gotta show off Pops here. 
first parachute jump. That's his autograph. And I'll just show mine real quick. My first parachute jump. And my autograph. <laughs> and here's my mint 400 jacket. I, was, I, I wasn't a driver. I sat passenger with my uh, sister's godfather, Steve Wheeler. It's up in heaven with my dad. And that was the year. 20th. 20th annual Del Webb. And 400. Okay, cool. So, that's, uh, that's our collection. Last little look. Last little look, little scan. And just uh, a new season for the Vikings. We're, we're excited. They play tomorrow against the Eagles Monday night with those crazy fans. Are we going to win, Ty? Yeah. Okay, awesome. See you guys. See you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Take care and God bless. Bye. Later.